Okay, I'm gonna try to make this liquidy fast. Jack London's White Fang, the companion novel of the Jack London's The Call of the Wire, which I did a few years back. <laughs> and we welcome White Fur to challenge White Fang. Yeah, you can't even challenge a wolf. You can't even fight properly. I mean, yeah. Alright, so I really hope you guys actually do enjoy this episode. I'm going to try to make this liquidy fast. First off, here we have to talk about White Fang. White Fang is just known as the great kid at the start of the story. Basically, there's these bunch of wolves led by a she-wolf. They have attacked a bunch of dogs that are owned by uh, two people, Henry and Bill. And they're basically going ahead and burying their dear old friend. Doesn't It doesn't say why they're burying their dear old friend in Alaska, though. Possibly just an excuse to go ahead and have free trips, free money to get on the trip all the way to Alaska, at least that's my that's my guess. I don't know, no nineteen late nineteenth century, uh, mortgage systems. Next thing that I know is all this happens, and the next thing that I know is all this full book summaries are happening. And ne okay, so one thing that I know is going to happen is all these things are going to happen. There's a lot of puppyhood happening. There's a lot of humans and mastery and protection that's going to happen here too. So the gray kid is born to this uh uh to this she wolf and her mate one eye because he has one eye that's why he's called one eye he goes ahead they have a bunch of life together they get like they have five puppies together and four of them looking a lot like the she cat except the last one a gray kid and they all die in infancy because they've all basically got into famine and only the gray kid survive because he basically is a full wolf also her dad dies because he's been killed by a lynx Next thing that happens is that a lot of other things start happening too. Uh, the dad goes ahead, the mom and the puppy go ahead and start hunting together. And now and, and then they find a bunch of humans, and the humans actually welcome the she wolf because apparently they're Kiche, Kiche, I think her, their name, her name is. And they go ahead and say, Ah, she's Kiche. She, it's been a year since she's run off. It's okay, it's okay. And they go ahead and have their own little reunions together. Don't you dare bite, Claude. Thank you. I will treat you with a treat later. Next thing that happens is all these great things are happening. Kiche goes ahead, becomes a sled dog again, becomes domesticated again, and, well, White Fang does not like it at all. Apparently, they call the great kid White Fang because he has a bunch of White Fangs, unlike Kiche. Next thing that he knows is that he goes ahead and becomes a sled dog, too, like his mom, because he wants to be with his mom. Then one day, mom, his mom is sold, and then he's there all like, Ah, he grieves and grieves and grieves and is agile as a cat. He can fight like a cat. It's like if you drop him, he can go ahead and twist himself like a cat. Like this. Draw twist. Using his. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry if you hate it, but I must have views. All right. That's basically what happens. Next thing that I know is that these humans are happening. And then last but not least, these humans are happening. To, uh, to, to become cruel. Uh, great be Grey Beaver, his owner, goes ahead and tries to sell White Fur, I'm sorry, White Fang, this guy's White Fur, White Fang for uh, whiskey, which is terrible for an Indian. Of course, it's also very stereotypical, which is one of the reasons why this book is pretty racist. Next thing that I actually find out, that we find out about, is that the person that White Fang is sold to is called... Beauty, and he's nothing but a beauty. His whole skin is a bunch of rags, and you may go. You have a lot of fur on me. All right. Next thing that happens is that Grey Beaver is gone from the story, and then Beauty comes in. Of course, I've mentioned he's nothing but nothing, everything but a beauty. He's short and that. So next thing that happens is that uh, he basically breaks White Fang's spirit and makes and says, "All right, ladies and gentlemen, I present you White Fang." Boo! Everyone says. Let's see his arena. I bet 1 to 50 on him. Boo! You lose your money, you bozo! And that happens. And next thing that happens is that, well, White Fang wins. He's like, gravel, gravel, gravel. White Fang already killed him. What the hell just happened? Everyone says, how did, how did he kill him like a cat? With the strength of a dog? I knew he was a good fighter. Now make me money or I kill you! And that's basically what Beauty's reaction is to this first fight. He goes ahead, beats almost every dog he's given to. Everyone's like, God, this is so boring. 
can't we get someone to just go ahead and beat up White Fang? And like, uh, yeah, we could try. And they found a Lynx, a very full-grown Lynx. And he's, and that woman, that, that woman, that female is as fast as White Fang and also as strong as him. The next thing that happens is all this love and sacrifice and protection and all of this fades away. And then, of course, humans start happening. And then he's beaten by a bulldog. The bulldog's like, oh, ow, 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 yeah. And they're like, ow, get off me. No. Scratch, scratch. I don't care. And bah, 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 bah. I don't care. Bah, bah, bah. And then, of course, the bulldog almost wins. And the bulldog wins over Shirley's white fang. And is about to kill white fang. But then a person comes in and, like, hits Beauty in the face. Because he's just about to kick white fang. And then white fang's like almost dead and he's being uh he's uh, basically went ahead and it's fixed up and then the guys are like how am i gonna break him i'm afraid i'm free i make him earn your trust okay he got his got his hand bit ow i'll shoot him no i need to earn his trust uh, but i need to no you don't it was his right to bite me good point point. and he goes ahead and he tries to pet him first time sort of works and as soon as and after every time he just keeps on going ahead and ahead and starts feet and starts going ahead and starts uh like patting him every day and then he white fang hated it a little but then he just tolerated it then he started liking it and last but not least he just enjoyed it completely that was a surprise for him too also he never showed it too and then later, he's moved to a new place, San Francisco, because apparently the guy wants to go by there by himself, and he was scared that White Fang will kill every other dog in San Francisco, and White Fang just goes ahead, breaks a window just to be with him. wonder how expensive it was to repair a glass window. Whatever it is, it must be pretty expensive for them. And then finally, of course, he goes ahead, shows his love, and then a uh, see, a uh, murderer tries to kill uh, the master, the master, love god, as White Fang would call him. That and then White Fang is seriously injured. One of his ribs, at least one of his ribs, uh, were broken. Three of them were broken. At least one of them pierced his lungs, and he lost a bunch of love, love blood, and also his hind leg was bro bone was broken. Next thing I know is all this happens, and he goes into surgery. Three weeks, he doesn't walk. He can do anything, and when he's finally free, he's like, I'm alive! He tries to walk. He falls. He goes outside. He falls and lies there, and he finds his mate, uh, Colin. And they go ahead to be with each other, and then he, she brings a bunch of puppies with him. He's perplexed and like, oh, I have a family now. And that's it. That's it. The end. White Fang story. Sorry. Yeah. White Fang story ends on a happy note. He kills the murderer who goes on a revenge tree and tries to kill the dad. And that's it. That's how the story ends. So hopefully you guys actually did enjoy this episode. I hope to see you guys soon in the next one. And until then, run out. Peace. Bye-bye. Wear a helmet.